I just realized that I didn't tell you my confession. So it's it's not that I'm sealing VHS in the back of the shed. I'm not doing that, I promise. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Hey y'all, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. We're outside, so that means what's on your playlist day. So I'll tell you what's on my playlist when we head inside to the cabin. But we have some great topics today, really awesome stuff. Gonna do a little bit more VHS talk for you, you uh, VHS deniers out there. I know there's some of you out there. It's a real thing, I swear to you, and I have a confession to make. Let's take a look. Hey little chickens, how you doing? Huh? You want some food? You want some food? <laughs> I'll have to go get some for you. Hey y'all, look, Turner's got a playoff game tonight. We thought the season was over, but apparently they have playoffs at eight, year old, eight years old. <laughs> so he's out there taking some practice swings. Did y'all know he's a switch hitter? Crazy. All right, so playlist today. My music playlist is, what was I listening to today earlier? I was doing a little bit of work. I was taking some pictures. Blue Ridge Mama made me come down and take pictures for her. She's like, I don't want to go down there today. I was like, okay, I'll go take pictures. And then I airdropped them to her. <laughs> so the Eagles, a little bit of Tracy Chapman. I only like one or two songs. And then Nora Jones. And no, Nora Jones is not my confession. <laughs> Although some of you would be like, why did you just admit that? I like Nora Jones. It's all right. It's okay. So I've been doing eBay for a long time. And I still learn stuff every day. And you know my affinity for selling Tupperware. Well, I made a mistake. It really, well, I didn't think it was a mistake. I just didn't know something that I can't believe I didn't know after selling so much and it's not in here. Hold on. All right, it's up here. <laughs> I'm going to have to go. I don't know. Maybe I can reach these. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think I need my stool. All right, there's the pepper. And there's the salt. And I listed these really quick. And they sold really quick. These we got down there from Carol's Place. From the picker videos, the last few, the sealed one. Anyway. These right here, I've sold a ton of times, ton of times, and they usually sell really good, like 30 bucks. So I listed it for 30 bucks, and they sold super fast. And I'm like, wait a minute, something's not right. And so I went in and I looked them up. There are some with silver letters and some with gold letters. The ones with gold letters, I've seen sell as high as $70. So there you go. There's a little Tupperware Bolo, <laughs> which I didn't know. And some of you are out there, how did you not know that? Well, I didn't, so there you go. Oh, and I forgot. Here was my uh, playlist on YouTube this morning. Listen to that Hangout. So that was really good. That's uh, Philly Picker, not Philly Flipper. And that's uh, Art Vandalay and January House. Sold some more guitar strings. Oh, wrong one. There they are right there. These sold for $9. Pure profit after fees, after shipping. So it was about, you know, four bucks or so, four or five dollars. And they're going in those little CD envelopes. All right, y'all, I grew up in the 80s. You know that. So, well, I, maybe you don't know that. I grew up in the 80s. <laughs> and I just love that era. That's going to be part of my confession a little bit later. But I am going to show you something else that I really love. And it's Indiana Jones. I love all the Indiana Jones stuff. Just love it. I think Harrison Ford is what makes it. Because I like Star Wars because of the way he interacts with, with the princess. I think it's hilarious. Anyway. This one right here was in pretty good condition, and it sold, I, I want to say I paid five bucks for it, which, you know, not bad. It sold for $29, free shipping, and it'll go media mail, and we'll ship it out in our record boxes here, which I've showed many times. I will show again soon on the Commonwealth Auctions channel, for those of you who are new to it. And I, I did a video about how to package up records, and I did it wrong. <laughs> so I made another one, how to package them the right way. So, and there's different ways depending on different ones. This $29 one, so I'll put a little bit of extra time, not time really, but material in it. And I'll, I'll maybe uh, show that on a video. Well, just link to the video that I've already done on it. Let's see, the other one was down there in Tesla Picker's drawer. I think this is either part-time picker or shed flips. Yeah, it was Coleco RF switch. And it's missing the little uh, adapter, cable adapter thing there. It goes on the end of it, but still sold for like $11 plus shipping for that old Coleco. Not too bad. Run it out, part of it. 
Speaking of slogans, I have some people tell me I have too many slogans. <laughs> Maybe so. I have a few. Camaro. There we go. Right there. That just reminds me of another slogan. This came from the Epic Garage Sale. These are selling for $15.95. And the reason I bought them, it, it met two of my favorite requirements for eBay. Multi-quantity. So you list it once and sell it, you know, hundreds of times. And we're into these for like less than 75 cents. It's sold for $15.95. Free ship. And by the way, I've been using those in here like this as well. And so far they've been really good. I don't know. It's a little bit... I think they'll be okay in there. I've never had any complaints, but they'll probably be good in a padded bag as well. But at any rate, this is definitely two requirements. So one of them is the multi-quantity, which I absolutely love. But the other is new old stock, right? I think I did a bit a video about it. NOS is boss, right? NOS, NOS is boss. So I just have to say that enough times so that other people can't steal that one too. Right, Philly Flipper? Sold another game from the Motherload sale. And that one right there, original Game Boy, and it sold. It's crazy to think that Harry Potter is old enough for original Game Boy, but I guess it is. That's a Game Boy color. There you go. That makes sense. So this one sold for nine plus shipping, so about a seven dollar profit after fees after shipping. Sixteen seventy nine. I'll lay off the history lesson on that date. And I just want to say something really quick about uh, these ornaments. I mentioned it the other day on the other show, but I wanted to make sure everybody heard it because I know a lot of people went on there. These all sold, 40 of them sold in like eight hours. And I had the wrong shipping price on there. And so what I'm going to do, and I said this the other day, I had the um, U.S. territory shipping instead of U.S. And it was like 11 bucks or something to, to ship one of these. And it's definitely, it's first class. And people paid it. And nobody even batted an eye at it. Unless you, of course, went on there and saw it and you're like, I'm not buying that. <laughs> I just wanted to apologize to everybody out there. And so what I've done is, well, what we're doing, we're in the process. Matter of fact, as soon as we stop videoing this, we'll probably get going on it. Is we're sending out the metal ornaments in addition to this and just shipping them out. Now, if that's not good enough to make up for the discrepancy there, just let me know and we'll, we'll do something for you. So I highly doubt anybody's going to do that because nobody complained at ridiculous shipping prices. <laughs> there are, I think half of these are gone. All of these went really fast, but half of these are gone. And I keep thinking of stuff. So we're actually able today, because those sold so quick, to make our first donation to the local... I don't know if, I don't know if I'd call it an animal shelter, but it, it's kind of like a... It's not the Humane Society either. They do all, all kinds of stuff, spay and neuter, and, and they kind of take care of the wild cat population. I'll tell you what, I told my wife this the other day. I said, we should be the local animal shelter with all the cats y'all bring into this... <laughs> I have a story about No Name. I'll have to tell it to you later because I'm talking too much. We're going to do one more before we get to the VHS stuff. And uh, I think you'll find it kind of interesting. But this one I got at the 127 sale. We were out with like six pickers that day. Seven pickers. I mean, there's a bunch of people out there. And we were even meeting viewers out there. So there's tons and tons of pickers like going from sale to sale to sale together. And somebody said, hey, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to find everything here. There's too many pickers. And I'm like, oh, we'll find everything here. What are you talking about? And everybody gravitated to different stuff. And plush is one of the things that I like. And so this one right here, this is, I bought two of them. The other one is up there. And I, I love this sale because I got people in the comments that were a little bit, you know, those don't sell, plush doesn't, you know, whatever. I'm like, okay, <laughs> they'll sell. I think I put up a comp of like 50 bucks or something. And they're like, you're never going to get that. And this sold for $42.95, I think, plus shipping. And, you know, it's got a little nick right there, but in pretty good shape. I paid $3 for it. Paid $3 for that one, $3 for this one. I think I joked around with the lady. I'm like, I normally would haggle down to two for five, but uh, I wasn't going to do it with her. <laughs> so uh, I'll scrunch these down. This one has like a foam head, though. This The, the head doesn't really scrunch. So this one may be going out UPS or FedEx, $42.95 plus shipping. All right, we're going to talk about VHS for a second. So all you VHS haters out there, you can tune out. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing the comments and the emails. Anyway, not as much on this channel as on the Picker channel when we bought them. I'm still getting them. You know, this is a fake. This is a fraud. They don't sell their what? Okay, I agree. I've actually made videos about Black Diamond, Disney, VHS, and the hoaxes and whatever, because I've sold them for years for like 10 bucks, 5 bucks. I get it. We're not talking about that stuff. We're talking about the legitimate selling of VHS, including Disney VHS. I have actually been in correspondence with some folks lately 
that are collectors and collectors of just the Disney VHSs and they try to collect every single one. Some are harder to find. You know, it might not be your cup of tea, but somebody out there collects just about everything. I've seen amazing collections. I even saw the other day on Instagram, somebody, somebody's probably going to say this now because I don't remember who it was. Somebody had made their whole entire basement into a video store, an old video store, and have nothing but sealed VHS everywhere. Amazing. So anyway, there's something for everybody. Y'all see Pepper out there? I really got to clean. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> I was like, where is my Pepper here today? Come on, girl. Come on. Pepper's about to become famous, y'all. But that's an announcement for another day. All right, so here's what we got. So I went inside, speaking of Pepper and the cats, the Pepper and Dobby. If you're new to the channel, we well, you have to go back and watch the cats. But Dobby and what else we got boots and pepper and now we have no name and there's a story behind no name but maybe i'll tell it at the end of the video and no name was the wild cat and would never come inside and is inside sleeping and the other cats are running around outside so it's a little weird all right i went inside to get this one because this one right here sold for 500 dollars, and it's going to canada and i don't usually leave 500 dollars merchandise out here even though we have locks and security and all that stuff i still take it in <laughs> I mean, it's 500 bucks, right? You just <laughs> might as well, right? Put it in the secure location. All right. Walt Disney's Pinocchio. This one sold for $150 right here. It's padded and it's black, got a black case. It's not even a perfect seal on it. You see that right there? Okay. So this one is not impossible to find. It's black diamond, but it's not the black diamond on the side right there, you see. But it's a padded one. Not impossible, but still. As far as the Pinocchios goes, this one is pretty hard to find. So apparently somebody, I don't want to have all the glares on it, y'all. Somebody in Canada wanted that. And I think I've had, I want to say I sold one other to Canada a while back. But that one right there, $150. Go ahead and look at it. See if you can find comps on eBay. See what you can find. And see if I'm crazy or not. See if it's a hoax. There you go, the classics. I like it. I like Pinocchio. We doing Pepper? Huh? We doing? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> she wants some attention. All right, Dumbo. Here it is. Now this one, actually, well, let me tell a story. So the gentleman who bought that Robin Hood VHS the other day, we were actually corresponding. We were, I was in Arizona at the time, and we were going back and forth about prices, and. We, you know, he obviously didn't want to pay more than he had to. And I didn't want to give it away for more than, you know, for less than I wanted on it. I was trying to raise the market on both. And I told him that. And there was a comp for Dumbo at, I think, like just under $500 on an auction. I'm like, this thing's got to be worth $500. Got to be. I mean, if there's an auction going for $500, I should be able to get that for buy it now. And there were none other ones out there that I could find listed sealed in this condition so it was the best one on ebay period in the story and there were a few solds but i don't think any listed at the time very few maybe none even listed pre-owned at the time there's probably eight million after i showed the video a few times but you never know this one i just thought was worth it it was worth 500 bucks i think our agreement was because we were haggling back and forth i had a thousand dollars on robin hood and i had 700 on this so 1700 bucks and our agreement was we were really close at like 1100 bucks, And I was like, hey, I'll do 1000 bucks if you wait a week. If I can't get what I'm wanting in a, th in a week, I'll, I'll do 1000 bucks for both of them total. 700 for Robin Hood and 300 for Dumbo. Sorry, I got to let Pepper out. She's being bossy today. There you go, girl. Anyway, that was the deal. So he decided, you know what, let's just do the 700. Let's just do the 700 for the Robin Hood and then we'll do the 300 for Dumbo in a week if it doesn't sell. Sold the next day, 500 bucks, going to Canada. If you wanna look this one up, look up the pink spine. You wanna find the one that says pink spine on it. I just realized that I didn't tell you my confession. So it's, it's not that I'm sealing VHS in the back of the shed. I'm not doing that, I promise. It's that I, you know, I don't collect anything. I've also often said that. And people think I collect ashtrays. I don't. I just buy them and they never sell. So it's like I'm collecting them. <laughs> but I tell you what, if there was something I was going to collect and I have contemplated it for the new shed, using it in, in like a display or like a little area, decorated area in the new shed when we get it, I would collect VHS. 
I know some people think that's idiocy. That's just crazy. You know, why are people paying this? This is so stupid. I can see why, because I'm not a collector at all. And I absolutely love this stuff. So there you go. There's my confession. It is, I mean, look at this stuff, y'all. Back to the, I mean, this is my childhood, right? I mean, this is it. Look at that. Look at that cover. I mean, that stuff is awesome. I can see why people want sealed stuff. And I don't care about the seal. That doesn't, I could care less. But you know what? It's not any crazier than, than records. I mean, look at LPs. I've got a few there. I've got 8 million inside. I need to get out here. But people collect LPs. And, you know, you go back in time and there was a time where nobody wanted any LPs. Look at that. That's artwork right there. Love that stuff. So, I don't know. What do you think? Am I crazy? I think I might go out and get... I might even buy a few. I don't know. Well, I probably won't. You know me. I don't buy anything. I'll go out and uh, get it at garage sales. And I think I'm going to put up like 10 or 12 of the new shit. What do you think? I think these next ones came from the Commonwealth Grandpa sale. Let me see. Yeah, there they are. I threw them in there with the head covers. They're not head covers, but they are. George and Barbara Bush. Read my lips. <laughs> and these right here. They're a little stain on them, but these right here. This came from that Commonwealth Grandpa sale, so he picked them up. I don't know what he paid for them, but we're well into the profit on that sale. So these slippers right here sold for $12 plus shipping. So I put down after fees $9 right there. So $115 into $712 so far. After fees, after shipping. All right, I cheated on this one. I already got it out. It's a little too tall to get the camera up there. <laughs> Callaway, brand new. $35 bucks for this hat. It's a navy camo. I really like that hat. Oh, maybe I should keep one for myself. $35. Bucks. Free ship. I'm not making a ton on these. I'm making around $8 or $9 on these right here. Been selling a bunch from Carol's sale down there, the once in a lifetime sale. And what was the other one? I can't remember. We did the sealed thing. I don't remember what the title is, but those two sales were awesome. And so we sold another one of these Teen Wolf masks, sold it for $10.95 plus shipping. Make sure I get it out. I try to keep it all intact. They all kind of come out a little bit, so it's kind of hard. There's a little piece of paper on that one too. Like the eye holes aren't on all of them. You know, they're just not get that that's oh, a rubber band that's an old rubber band 1987 so that rubber band is probably what is that 34 34 years old <laughs> 1987 best year ever unless you're andy warhol or jackie gleason next sale blows my mind absolutely blows my mind these sold same person 42 dollars plus shipping old spice <laughs> i mean you gotta love it you just gotta love it right $42 plus shipping. This one is called Burley. <laughs> and I, j I joked with Carol down there. I'm like, I remember get, we got these things in our stockings every single year, man. Holy mo My mom must have thought we needed it. <laughs> oh, so sorry, Commonwealth Grammy out there. That one's called Leather. So there you go. $42 plus shipping. <laughs> I think they'll run away. We got some deer right there. Huh? Got one right there. And then we got some over there. They were just over here so I can go, hi Pepper. There's a billion deer out here. <laughs> yeah, there's one like right there. Jump out of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on in, bud. Let's do your sales too while we're at it. <laughs> a billion deers out here. <laughs> oh my goodness, deers. All right, deer. let's get your stuff. Hey, grab that right there. That's Marvin Martian. You ever heard of Marvin Martian? No? no. Marvin Marshall, a little before your time, a little Looney Tunes action. Got these in a big bulk buy you should see on a video coming up pretty soon. And it was a viewer who sold them to us, and he was selling them at a garage sale, and he just made a deal with us. So anyway, this one sold for $10 plus shipping. And this one right here, who's that? Ramon. Ramon, that's old school Ramon. So that wasn't a great one, you know. I told you when we had these turn, I said some are going to sell for like 25 some are only going to sell for like 8 or 9 or 10 This one sold for $10 plus shipping. What do you think? think Y'all going to win good. tonight? Well, let's hope so. It's the <laughs> championship game. You got a ladybug right. on your hat. Oh, do I? There's ladybugs all over. There was earlier anyway. All right, buddy. Definitely enough to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. Bye. Hi, right, y'all. Reagan's about ready to head to gymnastics. She's in... Is this what you wear to gymnastics? Yeah. <laughs>
and she wanted to show you. We're a little behind here, y'all, on the ornaments and stuff. So just wanted to give you an update. By the time you see this video, they should be, should be in the mail. We're hoping to get them to you before Thanksgiving. But the very first one, you want to show them how you numbered it? Yes. So I did my name. I'll probably make it bigger. And then uh, we do one of 40. So and then two of Mama 40. Did that? Yeah. So who got one of 40? Did I tell you? I know who mm -hmm. got it. Travis from Barter Mania got one and two of 40. So those are gone. I think he's giving one away, y'all. So you go, he's got a YouTube channel. You can go check it out. And you're going to sign the rest tonight. And then hopefully start shipping tomorrow, which will be today when you see. Actually, it'll be yesterday when you see. That's oh, confusing at any rate. These are, we still have some of these available. Mm -hmm. I think half gone at this point. So where do they find them? At cognitivefigure.com. Bye, guys. Lurid's mama was in here a little while ago doing some packaging. And I would never, ever complain about how she packages. Ever. But there you go. Small thing electric. <laughs> I believe this is an RF switch for a ColecoVision. <laughs> She's not as old as me. Y She's not even close to as old as me. <laughs> so to her, that's a small electric thing. Quick thank you to these folks for buying a copy of the Commonwealth Picker shipping table. The plans for it on CommonwealthPicker.com. Thank y'all. It's Chris. That's Texas Auction Dealer. I don't know if that's the eBay name. But thank you, Chris. Appreciate that. Deb, Jim, and Jason. Thank you all for those. And they were all emailed to you. So we appreciate that. Unless you want a hard copy. If you want a hard copy, you have to ask specifically. And then we'll we'll ship them off. So Everybody else gets a, an email. So anyway, thank you. And thank you to Robin T. Thank you very much. She said she gave us 10 buy me a coffee pieces of the shed. So thank you, Robin. Very, very kind of you. She said just a thank you for always answering my questions. So <laughs> i tell you what. I don't always, if if you send me a message on eBay, a lot of people send me a message every single day. I get like five or six questions on eBay about reselling through the eBay thing, and I don't answer those. So my apologies, but if you send me something through Instagram, I, there's a decent chance I'll answer it. Not not great these days, but decent. Um, the, the best way still is in the comments of the videos, and the best way even yet, if you want one on a video itself, is go over to the Commonwealth Auctions channel. Hit up the last Q&A video, the only Q&A video, and the next Q&A video I do on that channel, I'll answer all those questions, or most of them. So, anyway, thank you, Robin. We appreciate it, and we can't wait to see you next.